Hi, I think we have three more videos to do in this series where I talk about rules panes, the module that allows you to execute rules components in panels, as we have done here on a task uh, on this site. We have four uh, rules components that we can execute here from the um, from the uh, actual view page of the module. So if I click mark as done, uh, uh, rules components is executed on this node and the status is changed to done. Kind of neat. In this video we're going to look at how to use contexts with these components in a bit more complex example. So I go over to the panels edit page for this and I'm going to add a new rule here, a new rules component. I'm going to add the one called set task ownership that takes a, a, a node, a task as a parameter and can also take a user, but we have no user in context right now. Uh, so we're going to see how to change that in a minute. I'm going to uh, override the title and I'm going to change the button text to uh, set new owner. Finish, save. So this now will give us something similar to the priority thing here, but here we have to specify an identifier for um, for a user, so we can change the owner here to say uh, number two, which I think is an administrator. Owner administrator, yeah, like that. Um, and that's not 100% useful yeah, unless you know all the user IDs in your head. But let's change this to two different buttons one where we set uh, ourselves as the owner of the task and one where we can set the owner of the task to the um, creator, the, the owner of the project that this task belongs to. Uh, in this case, editor. Editor is the owner of the project. So let's see how we can do that. We go into panels and we go into the contexts of this page we're looking at. Uh, we have, uh, we can uh, add a relationship, sorry, here. Boom, boom, boom here uh, we can well let's start by adding the acting user that's done up here in the context not in the relations so let's add a user add context let's call it acting user user is fine the logged in user finish uh, let's update and save this and now if we go back into the content and configure this pane again, set task ownership, settings, we do have a user uh, context that we can use here. So let's check this one and let, uh, let the button say uh, set me as owner, as task owner, finish. Now, when this, uh, both these uh, parameters are pre-populated by uh, panels, this uh, form will go away and we only have a button left. Set me as task owner. If I click here, this should be changed to root. Click, root. Nice. Okay, let's do the other example then. If you go back into contexts, now we'll have to use the relationships and fetch some information, some related information here. Let's start by going from the task to the project. Node from node on node project field project. Okay, so we fetch the project and relationship. Let's call this project, project, finish. And I actually think we need to update and save here. I'm not 100% sure, but let's do that. And then add another relationship from the project to the uh, node author. And you can't really see this because it's out of uh, below the screen, but it, it's there. Let's see if I can scroll down a bit. User from node on node uh, dot node author. So we fetch the author of the project. Let's see here. Add a relationship from not the node being viewed, but from the project. We collect the pro project author. Uh, project author. Finish. 
and update and save. Go into the content part here, and now we just add another rules component, the same component again, another pane with that. Rules, set task ownership, the node being viewed, set the owner to project author. I'll write title, make project author the owner. And you can probably find a better text for that, uh, but you get the idea. If we reload the page here, we now have set me as task owner and make project author the owner. If I click on that, it should be the editor. Yep, that is now the owner. So here's some kind of set with uh, buttons to click to change this thing we're looking at. And that's one of the big points with um, using rules panes. You can get something similar to view spoke operations, select something and uh, uh, perform actions on it. But here you can uh, act on something that is loaded in the page manager. And that's kind of useful, I think. Uh, in the next video, we're going to have a look at a pretty cool example of what you can do with um, uh, rules panes to add a number of um, tasks to a project with one click. See you there. Bye.